a lot of standing water along the curves, and if that water freezes, it could be a real mess. Todd Hicks is live in Racine to tell us what people have been doing about it. Todd? Well, Mike and Carol, this is what is creating all the concern. Ponding water like this, freezing tonight, making it dangerous to drive and to walk. We didn't want, like, somebody to go flying, you know, in their car or on their, off their feet. It's a bad storm in the making that has Sandy Puzareski and Adrian Viramontes rushing to clear the water in front of their home fast. You're concerned about that refreezing and being very Absolutely. dangerous. Absolutely, and we had a problem finding the storm drain this morning, but finally we uncovered it. With heavy rain falling, followed by high winds and freezing temperatures on the way, they knew they had no choice but to get outside. The Kenosha woman became worried after watching water from melting snow growing deeper by the hour. Adrian and Sandy say they have been at this for nearly two hours. Here's why. Ice that is almost three inches thick. We sort of chipped on that side, chipped on this side. They finally cleared the drain, but say they're bracing for what happens next. A mix of winter weather that just won't stop. It's unforgiving. It's terrible. It's depressing. It's a lot of work. Heaven knows what's going to happen in the basement when this stuff all starts to melt because we're seeing what's going on in the street and on the sidewalks, and it's terrible. And, of course, that is a big question as spring approaches. Now, DBW says it's very important to get some salt down on your driveway and your sidewalks to prevent this from freezing overnight. We're live in Franksville tonight in Racine County. Todd Hicks, today's TMJ4. Yeah, going to be a busy night out there for a lot of folks. Thanks, Todd.